Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Okreke. I welcome you to CM Videos, a YouTube channel where we aim to help you curate effective solutions to your computational modeling challenges. This video is requested by a user on my channel, a viewer on my channel who says he wants to learn how to cure, create porous media, a porous media. So that's what I'm going to do today to help you quickly show you how to make a porous media um, within Abacus. And so let's dive straight into Abacus and begin the modeling. Here we are in Abacus. So if we want to get started with creating a porous media, the first thing we need to do obviously is to create the domain that will have this porous media associated with it. So let's do that. So if you first click on this, I'm going to call this maybe, you know, the block, some kind of block. And I'm going to make this block to be something like maybe 100 by 100. So it start with 00, 0 and then 100, 100. So that gives us the dimension of the porous media, okay, that we're interested in. And we right click and then click done. So the depth of it will be 100. So that's the block. Then the real interesting bit is the porosity, the porosity that you're trying to create. And in this case, the porosity that we're trying to create will obviously be different shapes. So I'm going to look at three shapes. The first one being a spherical porosity, then an elliptical porosity, and then some kind of random shape porosity. So let's create the porosity. So the first one is a spherical porosity. So I'm going to call it a sphere. A sphere. I'm going to use revolution method to create this. So we basically create, you know, maybe a simple sphere like that. So we'll join those two points and then we're going to cut off that bit. So that represents our porous media and I'm going to rotate it by 360 degrees. So it revolves around by 360 degrees to give us the full shape. So that's the sphere. Then what of the ellipse? So, so let's create an ellipse. So again, we're going to do a similar thing. I'll click on the ellipse button and then create something that probably, you know, maybe looks like that as the ellipse. Then we need to close it up from here to here. I want your lips to be oriented along the x-axis, so that's why I'm drawing it this way. Uh, and then on the vertical region, I will need to provide a construction line. So that's a construction line for the horizontal section. And we finally go on to delete this. So basically we have the shape and this shape represents the, you know, a, a sector of the ellipse. So if we then move on again, the construction line is asking me, I want that and I want it to be rotated by 360 degrees. So that creates an ellipse that is the major axis is along the X axis. Then the last bit is, I'm um, just call it random um, shape. So anything kind of random shape. So we're going to use the same principle that we're working with, but we're going to use this blind button. So we we'll click on that and say, okay, fine. I'm going to start at that point and don't gen just generate anything that kind of looks somehow remotely random maybe a shape like that okay and then we'll right click and click done and then you close this you need to close it up definitely so you right click again and cancel procedure so we've got a closed system like that and then we, again we have to rotate by 360 degrees so that gives us some kind of random you know rock like shape maybe to a dome shape that will be maybe a configuration of our of our, of our porosity. So with those three things in place, then we'll go to assembly instances, and then I need to make instances of all four of them. So basically now within this media, I've got my structure there. Again, I like to switch this to maybe something like surfaces, something so that we could actually see what is going on. So we've got our porous media here, um, and then we've got our block that we want to. So what could we do? So first we need to translate. So I need to translate, let's say I'm translating the spherical media to the center of the structure. So we're starting from the origin, which is 002, let's say 50, 50, 50. So it goes to the center of the structure and okay, this is fine. So I've got a little sphere that is the center of the structure. Maybe you could then create patterns of that same thing if you want. So, um, so let's say I create a pattern of the sphere maybe somewhere in the middle, if that's what you're interested in doing. Um, maybe increase that space to 20, or maybe something like 30. So basically we've got some spherical components that are distributed in the middle. So we could try and create more numbers of them if you want. Okay, so some are going to be outside the block. 
the box if you want so this is this is, doesn't really matter okay so maybe what we need to do is to reduce it so that they all stay within the porous media okay so that's that then the other bit we we need to do a similar thing so we'll translate again maybe the ellipse so from where it is to you know where we're we going to put it maybe let's put it on the horizontal axis along the y so we could say maybe 20 zero on the y axis and maybe 80. so that's one of the cases that we've created which is this media and if you look at it okay some of it is protruding outward the most of it are inside so what about this other component so let's maybe create a few pattern of this you know this funny shape so um maybe let's do 30 and maybe 30 of that so basically we've got four of them chunks which are supposed to be the voided shape so you've got the funny shapes on the corners and the circles aligned and the ellipses so whatever position you want them to be you know this is fine and once we have them here then the last thing you need to do here is basically you select all of them okay first select the voids or you know the porosity and then you match them so I'm going to call porous media porosity so we want to match them so we match them and you know retain whatever shape they were before and then you continue so what are the instances we want we want everything excluding the block okay so what that means that we have a porous media which is now a complete system we have the block so the next step here is to create the porous block so if you want a porous media in this case a porous block so what are we going to do with this so we're going to say okay fine we continue but it has to be a cut so we cut the geometry suppress the previous thing select the instance to cut we clearly want the block and what do you want to cut it through we select the porous media so what you can see now is that the porous media has cut through the system if we switch this back to uh, sections or parts so you can see it's got through the system and if we then try and see if we can then um, so when you cut through the media then you could see that if we then look at the manage option we want to manage what's happening so we can move it up and down so somehow you could see okay we've got those porosities in the bulk um, and, and so this is really how you need to create a porous media and once you've got it there then it's ready obviously the next step is if you go to your parts so you could see this is a porous block what i always try to do is to try and mesh the domain just to make sure that the domain that you're meshing can actually mesh because because it's a porous media at times it's difficult to mesh so yes we've meshed it and then we can open it up again and have a look turn off that so we can see it's meshed and everything is, is okay so that's what i wanted to show in this in this video just a quick way for you to create a porous media within abacus if this is the kind of content that you like please do subscribe to this channel so that when content like this are made you'll be the first to see it thank you very much and catch you in the next video bye bye